Welcome back to another video here. Wendell Lee Well Services coming back at you. As always, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for smashing the thumbs up button as you always do. We appreciate you. Another viewer suggested this video and what we're going to talk about today is what is a relief valve? What do they do? How do they work? Do you need one in your well system? We're going to get into it with you. So long story short, a relief valve is kind of what the name insinuates that it is. It is there to provide relief in your system due to overpressure or over temperature requirements. Requirements, not requirements. Your system exceeding the pressure and temperature design criteria that it is met to. All right, that is a big engineering statement, so I'm going to get down to the nitty-gritty here with you and just explain to you in simple terms what it is. It is a simple valve to provide discharge to an uh, area of your cho choosing to prevent, to prevent your system from bursting due to pressure or due to excessive temperature in your system. How do they work? All right, how are they sized? They're sized based off whatever system you need. So they got them in small sizes to relieve a little bit of water. They got them in big sizes like this for big industrial boiler systems or big pumping systems where you need to discharge more water. They come in all shapes and sizes. The concept though is still the same. Essentially what it is here is a small valve with a seat on the bottom and a spring up top. And this is a pressure relief valve. So this spring is set to discharge at 100 PSI for this particular valve. And when the system reaches 100 PSI, water pushes up on this valve and it pops it open and it discharges out to prevent your system from rising up any higher. And this particular valve well, there went a seal. It's pretty easy to adjust. You take the cap off and you can take a big flathead screwdriver and adjust the spring to whatever pressure you want to do for it to pop off at. If you want it to pop off at 90 or 100, 110, um, preferably you would want this set to be a good set point under the minimum design requirements for your tank or for your piping system so you don't run into issues of your tank or water line busting. All right, so all I can hear it right now, all the haters gonna get out there, well, you're just adding more valves to the system. You don't need that on there. My water heater's already got one. Isn't that gonna do the job? Look, this is a cheap relief valve. Why not just have one for your water heater? that's right there next to it. That's gonna be a relief and safety device for it. And then have one for your pumping system. All right, most well pumps, yes, they only cut off at 60 PSI, but if they're in a deadhead condition, meaning there's no way to cut that pump off or a, a, or a most common issue, you got your pressure switch here and this pipe over many years gets clogged and there's, no water can get to this switch. This switch is gonna cut on and stay on. Most well pumps can build up to 150 to 200 PSI. So in short, why not just have one safety device for your water heater and have another one for your well pump that's gonna bleed off water. It's as easy as putting them right there at your pressure tank. This tank T screws into your pressure tank. You just get one with another port with a relief valve on it. And you can come in here and screw this cap off and set it to whatever pressure you need. And it's going to cost you probably every bit of about $10 to have that. So is it probably necessary? Yeah, anybody can argue that it's not going to be necessary. Is it going to hurt? Is it always better to be safe than sorry? Yes. You know, Yogi Bear says it's always better to be safe to prevent forest fires and why not you just why don't you just have an extra relief valve on there to prevent your tank from overpressurizing or 
prevent your pipes from bursting. Um, so that's just my synopsis on it. We always put one on one of our systems. Um, it's either going to be installed at the tank or outside at the wellhead where you know it can discharge to a safe location. If it's installed at the tank, we'll try not to have it have it piped off or you know we're not just going to let this bleed off to somewhere where it's going to flood a floor or something like that if it goes off. So just always be smart about where you're putting them when you're installing, installing them. Thank you for tuning in. That's all for today, folks. Leave your comments on them. Hope you got the gist. These are worth every penny you pay for them. What is a relief valve? What do they do? Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more videos. So before all the comments and everything start funneling in, my cameraman about fell on the floor because I said Yogi Bear instead of Smokey the Bear. Whatever. It just comes out sometimes. Smokey the Bear was what I meant, not Yogi the Bear. Thank you.